Reza Sayer looks at the executions which took almost everyone by surprise. Iranian officials hang 20-year-old Arash Rahmanipur on Thursday, and his lawyer says they did it without telling his family. In a phone call from Tehran, human rights lawyer Nasrin Sotudeh, pictured here in a video posted on YouTube, told CNN neither she nor her client's family knew he was even sentenced to death, let alone executed. She says Rahmanipur's father saw the news on TV. A prison official told him Arash had been transferred. Later, his father found out his son was executed while watching the 2 o'clock news. His family is extremely upset and shocked. When I heard the news, I was shocked too because I never expected this. Rahmanipur was one of two people hanged in Tehran, but not even Iran's state media is clear on exactly why. Iran's press TV reported the two were convicted of the 2008 bombing of a mosque in the city of Shiraz. State-run ISNA reported they were hanged in connection with the post-election protests. Sotude says her client was never charged with the bombing in Shiraz and was arrested months before the elections and the protests that followed. Both of these men were arrested two months before the elections and they were in prison until their sentences were carried out. So how can someone who's in prison take part in protests? According to Sutude, her client was charged with being a member of an anti-government monarchist group. During Rahmanipur's 10 months in prison, his lawyer says she only saw him once for 15 minutes. Last August, Rahmanipur appeared in a mass trial on state TV. You're watching what the government described as his confession to plotting against the government. His lawyer says the confession was forced. My client told me his pregnant sister had been arrested too. He said in two sessions where he was interrogated, they placed his sister in front of him and told him if he wanted to see her free, he had to admit to things he didn't do. Iran state-run media reports cases for nine others sentenced to death for their alleged role in the post-election unrest is under appeal. Human rights groups condemned Thursday's hangings and accused the Iranian government of trying to intimidate the opposition movement. According to Amnesty International, Iran is only second to China in executions. Reza Sayah, CNN, Islamabad.